Basic math is too easy for you burros. So I'm gonna teach you algebra. C957 Applied Algebra. So, a timeline. I actually started this class two weeks ago, uh, and when I jumped into it, I realized that I didn't have the right calculator. I probably could have made it work, but uh, I've realized that the calculator they actually use on the course is just, would it takes care of like 90% of the heavy lifting of the course. And the one I have is like a business accounting calculator or whatever. So I put this course on hold and I ordered the new calculator. And just to start things off, you should, if you have the money, you know, I think it was only like $15 on Amazon like that, but this is what the calculator is. It's a TI-30XS, and it makes the course so much easier. Uh, it does pretty much all of the computing that you could possibly need to do, you know, throughout the entire course. It just, it makes the whole thing a ton more easy. I mean, it was a pretty decently easy course to begin with, but it just makes all of it that much easier. Uh, jumping into the actual course itself, uh, again, like other courses, I read zero of the uh, course material. So everywhere I looked at, everybody said, watch Odin's videos, watch Odin's videos. It's the, there's four cohorts, and uh, I think the announcements or course tips or whatever. But I went in there and I watched the four videos. Odin's awesome, by the way. I said in a, uh, there's a Facebook group that you should join called, I think it's called WGU Accelerators or something like that. But it's just a community of people and everybody on there is pretty awesome. But uh, I posted on there that Odin and Jim Jividan should start a educational podcast together because both of them are awesome. They made the course very easy to understand and very easy to pick things up and everything. So watch Odin's videos. And that's all I did to take this course, by the way. I watched those four videos. I took the PA. Should be a relatively short video because there's really not a whole lot to this course. Um, there's not really a whole lot of things you got to memorize. It's just basic math, you know, and graphs. You know, if you know how to read graphs, you can look at a graph and, you know, if it's about a lot of them was automobiles and workers. And if you can look at it and see how many workers does it take to reach X amount of automobiles and you can just follow the line to where it meets. I mean, it's, it's a lot of it was a uh, common sense. And actually Odin says in uh, one of the videos that, you know, your common sense always comes first, you know, the, that's the first thing you should look at when you look at any problem in here is what makes sense. And then if you need to start computing things, yeah, but like, again, like I said, with probability and statistics is this isn't like your everyday run on the mill uh, math course and, you know, like a brick and mortar college, like it's all multiple choice. So, I mean, if the answer you're getting is somewhere in the you know, three thousands and you have one answer that's 150,000 and then one answer that's three, you know, and then two in the middle, that's maybe, you know, somewhere you only have to pick between two. So it's it, it, these math courses so far with these first two that I've taken, it's not the same as your everyday, you know, math course. It's a lot easier in my opinion. So anyway, I took the PA last night, uh, scheduled the OA for like 10 o'clock this morning, took it and passed it. Um, advice, the OA and the PA are pretty similar. Um, a lot of like the paragraph type questions, you know, and honestly, like if you're thinking that you're going to be doing a lot of the rate of change type stuff, I mean, you do, I think there was only like a handful of those type of questions on the OA, but, uh, the majority of them were like common sense ones. Like I said earlier, like, uh, yeah, how many, automobiles are made if there's 50 workers and then you just follow the points on the graph and then see right there like i feel like there was like 30 or 40 percent of the questions on the oa were questions like that where i was almost like concerned like it doesn't make sense that they would make it that easy you know but a lot of them were and i ended up passing so i mean it, you obviously can't see you know the questions or answers or whatever you got wrong and right on the oa but uh, apparently uh, that's how easy they wanted to make it so yeah i'm not going to complain about it but it felt like a lot of those were a lot of the questions on the oa were a lot of common sense type things you know so maybe that's why Aiden says that in the videos i don't know but uh, advice as far as advice goes uh the calculator again you want to make sure you get one of the, these because it made it a whole lot easier uh watch Aiden's videos uh take the pa on whatever you don't do well on on the pa 
watch Evan's videos again, you know. Like like I said, I looked at the course material zero, you know, so Odin's videos are very helpful. He's very good. Another thing to be aware of is, like I've said in previous videos, these WGU OAs like to trick you. You know, they'll purposely word things in a weird way or, you know, change things around to where just like one thing, or like a big one on this one is uh, paying attention to like when it gives you the description of a graph or whatever a word problem is, it'll say, you know, T is measured in thousands or whatever. So when you do your calculations, you might get the answer of like 10, you know, and there'll be an answer on there for 10, but the answer is actually 10,000. So it's little things like that, you know, that you just want to read the problem very carefully, you know, read it, read it again, and then, you know, pick your answer, you know, because they do go out of their way to try to trick you. I mean, all in all, it was a pretty easy course. Like I said, I actually started two weeks ago, but I didn't actually dive into it until Monday. Uh, so, yeah, it, the course took me two days to complete. You know, Odin's videos, I think uh, a couple of them are about an hour, and then the other two are like 30 minutes. So, you know, on times two speed, yeah, you can knock all of his videos out in like two hours. The PA and OA actually take a good amount of time just because a lot of the problems are so long-winded, you know. It takes a while just to get through all of the questions, you know, no matter how easy or hard they may be. So, but the course is pretty easy. You can realistically knock it out if you have a good chunk of time and a couple of days, you know. But that's all I really have. Uh, the next class I have is Introduction to Humanities. So hopefully that one don't take very long. I'll come back on here and tell you how it went. See you guys.